So how many times have you been uh, surfing the internet and go to a website and all of a sudden you see this 500 error? And in that error, it pops up all kinds of information, the connect, database connection strings, information about the backend application, the local directories. Um, once in a while you see that it's not quite as prevalent as it was uh, years have passed, but it's something that we still see today. From a development perspective, you need to make sure that if your application should error out in some way, that they error out in a secure state so that they're not disclosing any unnecessary information or any unsecure information to the end users. Now, while it's absolutely acceptable to dump all of that stuff back into an error log that you can then go debug and find out what's going on, the last thing that you want to do is provide more information to an attacker that might allow them to further their attack. 